Hi guys, good morning. We are here now in Singapore and I would like to share to you about easy transport in Singapore, particularly on bus rides. Also, I will give you some tips on how to travel easier, hassle-free, and on a budget around Singapore City using City Mapper application in your cell phone. So, if you are travelers in Singapore, stay tuned to my channel. Welcome to my channel. I'm here and I'm Leah. Traveling by bus in Singapore is convenient and efficient way to get around the city. Singapore has an extensive bus network that covers almost every part of the island. There are both regular public buses and premium buses with different routes and services. Let me give you some travel tips in Singapore. First, download City Mapper application in your cell phone. City Mapper is a popular mobile app and website that provides detailed information and navigation services for public transportations in the cities around the world, including Singapore. City Mapper application integrates various modes of transportations, including buses, trains, trams, ferries, and even cycling and walking routes. This allows users to plan journeys that involves multiple forms of transportation seamlessly. Alright guys, we finished downloading the app. Now, let's log into the app and pick the city where you are. Here, I will gonna choose Singapore. Then, we're gonna receive Welcome to Singapore notification. You can also enable some notification if you like. Users can enter their starting point and destination to receive suggested routes and detailed step-by-step -step instruction. The app considers factors like walking distance, waiting times, and transfer point to optimize the journey. Let's put now our starting point, which is Orchard Road. And our endpoint, which is Marina Bay Sands. City Mapper will show the real time departure time for buses and trains, making it easier for users to plan their trips and minimize waiting time. What's good about this app is it provides real time updates on transit schedules, delays, and interruptions. This helps users stay informed about changes in their planned routes. City Mapper offers offline maps and direction as well, which is useful for travelers who may not have access to data or internet connection at all times. But as an advice to you guys, you can buy eSIM card with EasyLink access as well if you will gonna stay in Singapore for a week or so. This way, you will gonna have real-time data while traveling. As you can see here on our screen, City Mapper suggests to me some routes from Orchard Road to Marina Bay Sands. You can compare the routes by prices, how many minutes the traveling time, and how many changes in bus rides you need to take to reach the destination. From these options, I will gonna choose bus number 167. This bus allows me to ride only one bus costing me only 1.3 Singaporean dollars and it will be 32 minutes travel time. From this app, you may also see the departure time of the bus as well as the expected arrival to the destination point. You can also see here as well how many stops this bus will take before you reach your destination. So here we have 10 stops. You need to click go so that it will gonna update you in real time while you are traveling. Aside from buses, you may have an option to ride a train. Same as the bus, the City Mapper app will give you an option to choose the route from your current location to your destination. Here I will gonna choose the red line transit which is N5 that will gonna cost me 0.80 Singaporean dollars and with 17 minutes travel time only. 
City Mapper is known for its intuitive and user-friendly interface, making it easier for users to navigate and find relevant information quickly. So I hope guys I gave you good information about this app and I hope this will gonna help you on your travel to Singapore. As I told you, City Mapper can be particularly useful for navigating the extensive public transportation network including buses and MRT system. It helps both residential and visitor plan efficient routes, check real-time schedules, and navigate the city effectively. By the way guys, the easiest way to pay bus fare is with an EasyLink card or contactless payment card. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell as well to keep you updated on my latest video. Buses in Singapore generally run frequently, especially during peak hours. Outside of peak time, the frequency may vary. You can check timings through City Mapper app or in the bus stop information panel. There is a lot of designated bus stop in Singapore. While entering to the bus, you need to tap your EasyLink card for your payment. Also, you need to tap the card when you leave. Most buses in Singapore are air-conditioned and accessible for wheelchair users and passengers with disabilities. There are also designated seats for seniors and those with special needs. Major bus interchange like Towa Payo, Jurong East, and Serangoon serves as a hub where different bus services converge. This interchange also connects with MRT stations, making transfers between buses and trains convenient. Overall, bus in Singapore offers a reliable and economical way to explore the city-states with network that complements the efficient MRT system or what they call mass rapid transit. As you can see now, Singapore's road and traffic system are well known for its efficiency and organization, designed to manage islands' dense population and high level of urbanization. The road system in Singapore complements an efficient public transportation network including buses and the mass rapid transit or what they call MRT system. Bus lanes and dedicated public transport corridors helps ensure smooth flow of buses, reducing congestions on the road. Overall, Singapore roads and traffic system is characterized by efficiency, safety, and integration with public transport, making it one of the most well-managed system in the world. In few minutes, we will gonna reach our main destination which is Marina Bay Sand. From there, we have an option to visit the Sky Park, Marina Bay Sand Garden, Bayfront Area, and Malls. We can also visit Gardens by the Bay, Cloud Forest, and Flower Dome. Hope you will gonna watch my succeeding videos after this video. It will be top places to visit in Singapore, where to eat in Singapore, and tips in traveling to Singapore.
At last, we are now in Bayfront Bridge. The other footbridge that you are seeing now is the Helix Bridge. I hope you like our video for today and I hope I give you good information on how to travel here in Singapore. If you like this kind of travel videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell as well to keep you updated on my latest video. Thank you for watching. Bye!